All right, what's up guys? So in this YouTube video, I'm gonna show you the Loopback CT. I bought this because it works just really great for DaVinci Resolve, but also for other softwares you can use it. Uh, it's a small de device where you can import shortcuts, okay? So you can work way faster. So right up here, we are in the program, so when you buy this loopdeck ct so basically you gonna install this software and this software is for the loopdeck ct you see you can install uh, and add your loopdeck that you have i have the loopdeck ct right up here you can add the software which you are working with so basically i'm working with davinci resolve and it works perfectly but you also have premiere pro photoshop lightroom illustrator and many more cool softwares all right so we are in the davinci resolve software and right up here you can customize every little single button on the loop deck ct and right up here you see this is uh, basically uh, like a phone you can swipe it and if you swipe it you can uh, go to different pages ah, let me see all right up here you see you can go through different pages. You also see that on the loop deck right up here, you can swipe that. It's really cool stuff. And you can add like new page, a new page. I don't know how many new pages you can add, but I need to test that. All right. So um, it's really easy to install a new uh, shortcut. You can either just uh, search one uh, in DaVinci Resolve for your keyboards and then you can uh, click here uh, wait um, I want to find media okay let's do that one all right so basically you can install this to wherever you prefer to okay so now I'm going to show you uh, the shortcuts that I use in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve and immediately I'm gonna show you what I mean. So let's say that we want to go back to the media tab. So I hit on the one button and boom, we are back in our media. So I didn't put too many shortcuts in the media tab. I'm, I can still do that, I'm still working out the thing. But the most important thing for me is that I want to create new bins, all right? So I can type new bin, I don't know, whatever, new bin. Um, I can import my media, of course, very important. And that is it, all right? So I imported three different clips to show you uh, what we can do with that. So let's go to the edit tab and I installed everything up here. I installed all the workspaces, so I have two. Uh, three, four, I installed my pages. So basically when I swipe, you go to the right, but I don't want that. I think this is faster and then I can choose whatever I want. I also did that with four. Five is the color, ta color tab. Uh, six, we have um, the Fairlight tab and seven is delivery tab. So I didn't install Fusion. Uh, because I never, you almost never use Fusion, all right? So let's go to the second tab and editing. Okay, so let's import these clips really quick to show you what this thing can do. Let me first explain you that I want to close the media pool, the inspector, all these things. I want to close them and open them really quick. So I did FN1 for me is media. You see, done, open, done. F and two is effect. So I can go to all my effects. And FF, FN three is inspector. And that's one of the most important ones for me. And then I have FN four, that is the mixer up here. So let's close them. Boom, that's it. All right, so let me now explain you the uh, function of the different knobs I have. So right up here, you see already, um, this is something I use all the time. I want to zoom in into my timeline, boom, and I want to zoom out. But I also want to use, uh, instead of all the time, uh, the mouse clicking, I want to use the knobs for um, nav uh, navigating through the timeline. So I can do that a few different ways. 
right up here this one goes uh, to the begin of a clip and to the end of a clip all right so you can go really quick through your timeline this one uh, right up here is going frame by frame so i will show you really quick frame by frame and this one right here is going way quicker. It, I think it's going 20 frames or something. So you can basically go really quick to the timeline as well. And if I hit this knob, if I push it, uh, you see my timeline is back to normal. That's something I already really love. The next thing that uh, I installed is, let's say I want to move this clip to the left. So I have my arrow keys right up here. If I hit the A arrow key, I go up. And with these two knobs, I can go to the left or to the right. So the, uh, this knob right up here, it will go really, really fast. So like, oh, gee. Ah, go back. Uh, and this one, knob, this knob right up here goes a little bit slower and it's more precise. Okay, so let's say I want to move it right up here, hit my down key and that's it, all right? If I want to uh, have it to normal again, I just undo everything and bam, we're back to normal, pretty cool. This big wheel right up here is also just a really cool, uh, way of going through the timeline but i don't use that that often this one is to go really fast through the timeline all right don't use that that much i also have play right up here and pause but i also install that of my a all right you hear me screaming all right but most of the time i'm working like this i have my thumb on the a and these knobs I'm just really quick with it. Um, all right, so another really interesting tool is if I want to go to the begin of my timeline, I hit this arrow key. If I want to go to the end of my timeline, I hit that arrow key, okay? Basically, when I am uh, organizing my footage, I always put my footage in the timeline, so everything, and then I'm going to start to make cuts and to trim what I like and don't like. So I installed the trim button right up here. In the middle is the cut but button and the trim to the end button. So basically that's my, uh, no, it's not, it's the Q and W in Premiere Pro and in DaVinci. So you cut everything to the left and you cut everything to the right. So in order to do that, I need to, uh, I need to, um, how to say it? I need to select this uh, trim edit mode, okay? So if I hit, I push this button, it is selected. Normally, Jesus, delete this stuff. So let's say everything right up here goes to the right. Ah, undo, select the selection tool, boom. Okay, let me see. Uh, I like that one. Bam, stop, make a cut, and boom. You know, it's really fast, and I really, really love it. So, yeah, uh, another really powerful tool shortcut that I use all the time is my speed. So, I can change the clip speed, and then I can reverse it or whatever. Cancel. Uh, or I can read time control and this is more precise. I can just uh, make a keyframe right up here and then I can start to uh, speed ramp, okay? If I don't want it anymore, just hit it again. Let me see what I can teach you else. All right, so sometimes when I'm working on a, on a big project, I uh, separate all pieces and parts. Let's say that I want to see this part, how this feels, like just this part and boom. Okay, so just for example. So I go to my third tab right up here. I'm gonna hit end point and I'm gonna hit the out point. Then I'm gonna hit my third one. Boom, I want to loop it and then I want to play in to out. You see, and now it's looping 
and I really love this because then I can see how it looks like like a few times. Okay, stop, stop the looping. So I can link clips, I can do the snapping tool, I can do the ripple delete tool. Here you go, ripple delete. Yeah, just this is just a really small amount of shortcuts that I can show you, otherwise the video is taking too long. Let's go select everything to the left, all right, select everything to the right. Um, all right, so we can also uh, use these shortcuts for audio, for color grading. All right, so another really cool one is uh, eight, and that's to make the screen bigger. Well, let's say I want here marker, boom, I have my marker. But you see that? Okay, pretty cool stuff. So what can we do more at the color tab? So let's go to the color tab. All right, there are a few things you can do. You, for example, you can add a new uh, note, but you can't add a uh, contrast or uh, highlights the shadow. You, you can't do that, okay? You can't do that. What you can do is you can change the color temperature right up here. If I hit this knob, it's just, just not the right way to do it, but I just want to show you that it actually works. Okay. Then I have the delivery tab and that's it. All right, guys, just one thing. This needs time to figure out. It needs time to uh, master because you need to learn a new thing. And uh, it's, it's pretty hard because I always was used to the keyboard. Uh, but so every single day I'm loving this little thing more and more because I only use the pen and this thing with my right hand that is all that I do and edit. Sometimes I need to type something but that's it guys. All right so yeah I hope you learned something with the loop deck. Um, if you are interested to see more and to know more about the shortcuts you can always ask a question in the comments. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it and I will check you out in my next video. See ya.